What's up YouTube, Dan here, and welcome back to my Southampton FIFA 15 career mode series. Uh, so welcome to episode number 4, and we're going to start off today with a game against Sunderland at home, a must-win game. So let's put Tadic on the right side for this one, also take out Elia, uh, put him on the left-hand side and take out Rodriguez. So here we are guys, into the game, Southampton versus Sunderland, and South Sunderland are actually in 6th position, so they're doing pretty well at the moment. But a win from this game could take us up to 10th position in the league. So this is a very important game and a must-win game as well. So let's get into it and hopefully we can win this one. Oh my god, my defence is open. What attack from Olderville though. Jesus, where is my defence? Go on, Rodriguez. Look at the pace there. Let's go for the near post. And Rodriguez has finished it. One goal lead thanks to some fantastic work from Jay Rodriguez. 14 minutes gone. And what a bit of play that was there. Beating the defender and beating the goalkeeper with the near post shot. We are 1-0 up and a great start to today's episode. Great ball to Pele. He's not got there. Go on, Pele. Oh, lucky. They're losing the ball a lot in that midfield especially. Let's take advantage. Great ball to Elia. He hasn't got there though, but Pele has. It's Rodriguez through and he's missed it. A chance for his second goal of the game. And he somehow missed it from the Sunderland mistake. Well, that's just gone wide though, really unlucky, and that could have been the two-goal lead. So open in my back four at the moment. Van Anhol into the box, the foes won it. Get it away, Olderfield. Another header coming in, but Forster is there. Let's get it away. Oh, I love that skill. Tadic is away. That skill is just the best thing on this game. And back inside, past the defender, and another one. Go on, Tadic, finish that. Oh my god, that would be such a great goal. Let's push up here, but there we go, guys. End of the first half. It is finished 1 0, but it could have been so much more. But Sunderland, especially Jermaine Defoe, has been pretty good so far, so there's a lot to look out for. Uh, but let's get in the second half. Going to make one change before advancing to the second. So the change for the second half is that Jurisic is going to be coming on. I saw a lot of comments in the last episode saying to use Jurisic a lot more in this series. So that's what we're going to do and see how good this guy is. Right, keep hold of it. Up to Jurisic. Can he do something with this one? Let's cut back in. That's good from Jurisic. Back to Pele. Back in. Into Davis with a shot here. What a save. And Manone keeps hold of it. Nearly the second goal right there. And that's a poor ball there. Wanyama is there. Stealing off the defender. Let's wait for Van Anhol. And here goes Tadic on the run. Set out Jurisic here on the attack. Can he cut inside? Okay, there's no one in support apart from Pele. Here goes Jurisic. Can he finish this one? What a save yet again for Manone. Go on, Shane Long. This is for you right here. It's Shane Long through. Can he finish it? Too many touches. But it's a penalty. Our third penalty in the space of three games. Manone, sh it shouldn't be a penalty, but I'm going to take it. Come on, Tadic. This is the chance to make it 2-0. Let's get it on the green here. It's perfectly on the green. Left-hand side. And there we go, guys. The game must be over. Tadic has scored the second one. Five minutes left of the game and we are now 2-0 up and our top scorer Tadic with the second goal of the game. That is it guys, a fantastic 2-0 win, what a relief. Finally a home win, it's a 2-0 win in the end and it feels like a cup final win judging by these cut scenes. Uh, but Tadic with the penalty followed up by Rodriguez in the first half. It is a clean sheet and three points. So let's get into the second game away from home against Tottenham Hotspurs. Uh, so David's going to come on. Obviously, the better option would be Ward Prowse. Uh, but against Tottenham Hotspurs, we need to stay solid. And I do believe that Davis is the better defensive player out of the two. So Eli is going to play left wing. We can have Rodriguez playing as a cam. Uh, Tadic playing as a right midfielder. And Pella up front as the one man up front player. So let's get into this game against Tottenham. And let's hopefully get a good result here. Into Tadic. Oh, what a bit of skill there from Tadic. Near post, there we go. Oh, what a save from Vorm. Unlucky from Tadic. He is just fantastic. He has been the best player in the series so far. But what a save that is from Vorm. So Elliot's going to take it. Let's look for one of the tall guys. Font is there. Font with a header off the crossbar. Unlucky once again. We can't leave Harry Kane in this much space. Holy the mail in a bit of space. Go on, Elliot. Get back to that. Oh, what a save from Forster. Keeping it goalless for now. What a save that was. And he must be able to get from this corner. He's six for seven. He must be able to get here. And that should be his ball. Come on. There we go. Lamela with a shot. Good save. 
Let's get it clear. And that should be the end of the first half. And there we go, guys. So far, it's been solid. We have stayed good defensively. We've also had a few chances. The likes of Tadic should have scored from that early chance in the first half. Right, here goes Nathaniel Klein. Goes to the bar line. Into the box. Pele is there. How is he not winning headers? Is this what you're in the team for? Rodriguez with the chance, but he's taking it too far. Oh, he's giving it away, though. Not there. Stop giving it away. Harry Kane and Tottenham have scored it. 1-0. What a header from Harry Kane. I didn't even know if it was a goal or not because it kind of paused for a second. Oh, my God. Is that an own goal from Old old I think it was. But I gave it away in such a poor position. It was an own goal from Old old I can't believe it. We've done so well at keeping them out so far. All right, Tadic is going to take it. This goes just over the wall. And Tadic has scored it. What a free kick from Tadic. We are back on level terms only five minutes after Harry Kane scored it. This guy is just absolutely crazy. Tadic, what a star he is in this career mode so far. He has scored like basically all the goals in this uh, career mode. And he's just added another one. It's a free kick. What a free kick that was. You never score free kicks in those kind of positions. I uh, thought it was a too close. But that was a fantastic goal. And we are back on level terms. Okay, Pele through and Pele has scored it. 66 minutes gone and Pele has made it 2-1. What a finish from the big man. He has scored a fantastic weak footed goal. And look at the Tottenham fans. What a goal. This could be a fantastic win away from home at Spurs. Look at this from Rodriguez. One yarn with the ball through and a top left hand corner finish from Pele. I don't need to sub him off anymore when he can score goals like that. Oh, look at this play. We suddenly just kicked into gear. It's Mane, but a great tackle from the defender. Suddenly, it's all clicking at the moment. A great tackle again into Pele. Oh, unlucky, nearly back to Rodriguez. Keep the pressure on, keep it on. And they forced out a throwing as well. Back into Nathaniel Klein. I see the run from the back post. Elliot's there, but that is it, guys. A fantastic, historic win away from home at Tottenham Hotspurs. Suddenly, everything is coming good, guys. That is two wins from the first game. And that is a crucial win as well. We were 1-0 down to an own goal, but two goals in about five minutes put us back in the lead. But let's move on to the final game of the episode and let's continue this good form. So here we go into the final game of today's episode. We have got Stoke City at home and I thought it would be an away from home game, but let's get into it. Uh, Tadic, who is man of the moment right now, is playing for this one. We're going to play Rodriguez as the cam, Elliot on the left-hand side. Uh, we're going to have Ward-Prowse and Wanyama as the two CDMs. Let's get into it. Go on, Klein. That is pace right there. He stopped, though, but he keeps going. Right, let's get into the box. Pele is there, and he's just missed it. It's going to be a corner, I think. So, good bit of play there from the defence. Let's Elliot with the ball in. Let's find the run here. Unlucky. Oh, my God. That skill is so good. Let's go, Tadic. Come on, keep going. He's still got it. The balance on this guy. Right, let's find a bit of space here. Tadic still going. He's still going yet into Ward Prowse. Let's go for the finesse shot. Okay, that's gone well over the bar. Oh, and Natovic with a shot. Juve in the end, and he just missed it. That's their first shot, and nearly was their first goal. That's how open my defence is at the moment. Juve with a shot, and he's just gone over. Guys, not much has really happened so far in the second half, so I think it's about time we unleash the main man, Miyuka, and let's hopefully uh, see if we can get a goal with him because he might be the answer we need. Yes, Wanyama. Here we go. Get it into the box. Long is there. Oh, unlucky. Come on, keep the pressure on, Bertrand. There we go. Right, into the box yet again. Let's look for the ball in. Long is there, but he can't get there. And there we go, guys. It is finished as a nil-nil draw. A disappointing way to end the episode, but let's have a look at the league table. So before I head off, guys, let's have a look at the league table. So Chelsea are currently top of it, and we are currently in eighth position. That is not too bad, considering last episode we finished off, I think it's 15th. So we managed to get two wins and a disappointing draw. But the main thing is we beat Tottenham away from home. We're currently in sixth position. Uh, but that's actually going to be the end of today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, smash a like on the video and subscribe for more of this Southampton Karimo series and a new series. Another new series is coming at the weekend, guys. Uh, so I hope you guys do enjoy that. But thanks for watching today's episode. Uh, remember to follow me on Instagram down below and my Twitter. You'll find that down below in the description. Uh, but yet again, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next episode.